Podcast 78. Podcast 78. We're here. We're live. This is it. Never been more back in my entire life than right now. We have a special guest at the end of this podcast. We do. Um, Are we going to reveal who it is? Let's just tell him. Should we? Let's just tell him. It's Cakes. Cakes Mitchell from The Freddy Show. Cakes Mitchell from The Freddy Show. He's got his own personal channel on TikTok. That's killing. He's got The Freddy Show on TikTok. That's killing. He does it with Nick D. Mm -hmm. Fine Mm -hmm. Apple. I'm a fine apple. That's not how it goes. I know. I know it's not. Have you ever listened to him? I have listened to him. I have. Don't don't you do this to me. I definitely have. Don't you do this to me, Ricky Bobby. I'm still dancing yeah. with two left feet. There you go. That's another, there, you yeah, go. there we go. I'm, a, um, I'm here. Yeah. Cakes from the Friday show came on. Uh, we actually just recorded that, but we're going to put it at the end of this podcast just to keep it transparent with you guys. We did a bunch of games. Uh, so it's kind of like a little game time because we used to do game times inside of our podcast, which is fun. It's always fun. So we're going to end the podcast with a nice little game time with Cakes Mitchell. It was fun. Looking forward to you guys seeing it. It's great. Um, do you want to do the recap? You liked the recap last time. You want to give the, the overview of the yeah. podcast, what's going on? Yeah, tell us what you got going on. If you were to switch lives in history, who would you do it with? Okay. One day, been... one day you got, that's a topic. Um, which animal would you most want to talk to? Okay. Dogs excluded. Um, we have <laughs> switching genders and some questions around that. Can you guess the name of these things? So some things okay. that I had no idea like what it. they were called. Um, and you might now know. We're going to get rid of five more states like usual. Oh, God. We're, we're going to be halfway through. We're going to wow. be 25 through by the end of this one. Um, and then doing some get rid of stuff with continents or, or stuff like that. I love it. And then, uh, you know, the best city on each continent. So a little bit more geographical towards the end, right. up front, a little bit more of the games and the hypotheticals. Okay. And then we got the end of the podcast with cakes. Yep. Uh, I got another hypothetical living, rather living in 1800 or 2024. We'll tell you the details later. We got a AI is taking over the world. You have $15 to survive that kind of game. We did one with cakes at the end of the podcast, but it's fun. There's four levels, some sports topics. I got some fast food topics and then I brought in something else called yay or nay mm. undebatable topics. So oh. I want to hear if you're yay or nay. Um, Nay. and then some debatable questions. I got a couple debatable questions to end. This is what we do. <laughs> what we do. We do it big. Do you want to start or me? What are you feeling? You today? can start. You want me to start today? Why don't you start? Okay. So there is the question that crossed my mind. Let's hear it. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you could switch lives with anyone in history for a day, who would it be and why? Good yeah. question, Zach. Now I have some categories that I put people into, but I want to hear your gut reaction and where your mind goes to first. I'm glad you asked. Of course. <laughs> of course. I, I've been thinking I'm here for about you. this. Been thinking about this a lot lately, actually. Have you? No. Um, one person. Yeah. Do you want me to run one. you through the categories? Yeah, Is that going to sure. help you? So I went with the athlete route. Okay. And you got people like Tiger Woods, LeBron James, Messi, Michael Jordan, Maradona. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Whoever you want. Um, you go to the creative and genius minds of the world. Leonardo da Vinci, Albert Einstein, Kanye West. Not Kanye West. <laughs> You could go the dumb rich route, is what I called it. You could go Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, or just, anybody who had spend a tons of money and just be like, I'm going to spend loads of money just today. Be rich. Or you could go the fun route. Hasbula, Amelia Earhart, Christopher Columbus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think being Amelia Earhart would be very Jesus fun. Jesus Christ. That would be fun. You just perform miracles all day. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Um, a lot of options. I there. think I'd probably just go rich, or maybe like Conor McGregor when he got the double champ, when he won double belts. Oh, like so, yeah. something that's an achievement. I like to take for this time to apologize. <laughs> to absolutely nobody, and then go to party after. Maybe that. I guess so. That's pretty awesome. I feel like the rich route could be fun. I just don't know if I want to physically be Bill Gates, Jeff no, Bezos, yeah. or Elon Musk. That's why Conor McGregor might be the answer because they're super loaded. And you're not going to spend all that money in one day no, anyway. You're gonna right? spend, I wonder if that's possible to spend that money. I'm sure it is, but like realistically, what do you really want to do? You want to have like a humongous party. You want to eat whatever you want. You want to go on a mega yacht. You want to experience a cool show. You're not going to spend a billion dollars in one day. No, you're probably not. But what if you got into the creative mind of like a Da Vinci or a Picasso and just like lived a day in that, that's. State of mind. It's different. You don't care. No, I don't care that much <laughs> about that, to be honest. <laughs> this is a painting mind. I don't know. Or you don't know. Is... Picasso had like some stuff going on. Those images that he created. I went to the museum. I think he just did drugs. Probably. Probably. <laughs> <It> <laughs> might be a bold probably. statement by Probably. me. But wouldn't you want to be Hezbollah? No. No? I don't want to live in Dagestan, <laughs> Russia. I don't want to live in Russia, to be no, honest. Maybe you're it. like Hasbulla at a UFC fight. That would be fun. Or Amelia Earhart. Like you could you could do the day she flied over the Atlantic Ocean. I feel like she just died, didn't she? Not on that trip. 
I don't think she's ever seen again. <laughs> Not on that trip. It was a separate expedition. Was it? <laughs> yeah, she was the first woman to fly over the Atlantic Ocean. Did she land? She might have tried the Pacific and failed. Oh, okay. I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe or the Indian Ocean. <laughs> that, I don't know. That's a good or question. Could be like Julius Caesar. I feel like he killed a lot of people. Ah, yes. I'm evil, looking at like all the downfalls. Yeah. I'll just go Conor McGregor. <laughs> You're going to take McGregor? Safe. Play it safe. I'll just be Conor McGregor. UFC fight. Feel, yeah. feel the, the, hold the championship belt. Uh, or or like somebody that performs at like a massive festival. I feel like performing, ah. like me having the talent of like, I don't know, Justin Bieber. Oh. I don't know. Someone cool like that. Yeah. Married like, to Haley Bieber. I would, I would want to get up in front of 100,000 people and be as good as Justin Bieber. <laughs> I feel like that'd be cool. That would be pretty cool. Maybe a comedian, make people laugh. That'd be cool. That could be good. Bill be Burr. Fun. Yeah. Or Not someone. Kevin Burr. Hart. <laughs> Jane Gillis. Shane Gillis. Very big. Very big. No, I, I like the answers. I think I'm going um, like Tiger Woods. I know you're going to say A day Tiger to Woods. win, like win the Masters no, in 2019. That would, be, that would just, be electric. Just feel the rush. Hands thrown up in the air the whole night. And then the next day you go back and shoot 100. Yep. <laughs> and then I'm terrible at golf again. I love it. You shoot 30 strokes over, 40 strokes over. Uh, I, like I, I have a good question, very similar to your question. That's why I heard your topics, and yeah. I was like, maybe this would be a good one to start out with. Would you rather be rich in 1800 or poor in 2024? Oh, man. Now we're talking poor, poor. Like poor, poor, poor. Like homeless, poor, or rich, rich. Rich in 1800. Well, what's not, the, what's not the homeless, here? poor. Not homeless, poor, sorry. <laughs> Just poor. Okay. Just poor. The debate is that there was no cars, no phones, no radio, no television, no nothing in 1800. Did they even have sports? I'm surprised sure they, had- they had lights, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> they probably had some sort of sport that that was you know going on that I could perfect and get great at. Baseball started in the late 1800s. It's 1800, 1800, though. the year 1800. In the 1800, Native Americans enjoyed lacrosse, shinny, and games of chance. Yeah. Oh, some gambling, some man. Some games of chance. Yeah. That's why they have the casinos. Oh, God. Uh, here's what I say. It definitely sounds going horrible. 18- it <laughs> sounds horrible. <laughs> no, I'm definitely going 1800. Just to experience kidding it? kidding me? Not just to experience it. They had much higher appreciation for life. I don't know if they did. I think they did. They were like just barely getting by. No, but you're what you're rich in 1800. Yeah, but those so you people, get to do a bunch of different things. You live things. to you like to 30 in 1800. It's okay. You don't. You'd you be don't on know. your deathbed. You're 27. If I had the brain now, and no, I'm going you don't. back to 1800. You don't I, have know, I know. I know. You're mm. defending my point. If I had the brain now and I go back and I'm missing out on all these things, mm. then I would care. But if I'm just a person in the 1800s, I'm going to appreciate. Well, it's one day. I'm saying. All right. How about if you had the knowledge now? If I had the knowledge now, yeah. I'm going back. If it was you. And I'm making a decision there that's going to impact my future self. Or make it hard. I'm going to bury a time capsule with ideas. Xbox, Nintendo. They're all the computer. invented already. Not in 1800. Yeah, but you said you would put a time box for I'm, you today. You, you've never... Listen, I know you've watched Back to the Future. Yeah. I'm affecting the space-time continuum. Not if you put it in a time box. That's for you to find in the future. Whatever. Oh. And I do have the knowledge I have today. I don't know, Brian. Listen, my, my family's going to be generationally rich. Someone's going to find it. I don't okay. know. <laughs> okay. coming, up, coming up with stuff. Okay. I'm just, I'm just spitballing like here. All right. But I think you have to go 1800 because people today don't have an appreciation. It was a tough time to live back in 1800. <laughs> I'm telling you. There's a lot of disease, yeah. a lot of murder. Yeah. A lot of not good food. But if you're poor here, do you have access to all those things? It's that just you one care? day. It's one you can day? get by for one day. Oh, go to, go to the beach. Go sleep on the beach for a day. It's one day to be poor yes, here? Yes, one day. No, it's not one day. Didn't you say one day? I said one day. You said one day. It's not one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's rather be poor. Yeah, uh, I'd rather be poor, honestly, here. I think you could befriend some animals. I think that's what it is. Nice transition. Nice transition. If animals could talk... Which species would you want to talk to? I'm excluding dogs. Monkeys. Everyone's going to pick the dog. I don't think everyone is. Monkeys. Why wouldn't you want to talk to your dog? I don't have a dog. Yeah, but if you had a dog, you'd want to talk to dogs. I don't have a dog. They're like the most uh, domesticated animal. Yeah, because but then I wouldn't want to talk to them because I would just be talking about regular things. I'd just be talking (laughs) about them laying on the ground. Okay, so you want to strike up an interesting conversation. Yeah, I I want to hear about other species. With a monkey? Squirrel? You think monkeys know they have thumbs? Definitely. <laughs> uh, well, if we live here, we live in New Jersey. There's no monkeys around. So I don't want to talk to monkeys because I only get the opportunity once every two years if I go okay. see a monkey. <laughs> okay, somewhere. that's fair. Maybe deer. A deer? I feel like I could, I could make like a troop. 
Well, we approached a deer the other day, and I wish I knew what it was thinking. Was it thinking, I'm going to kill this person, or... Or I'm terrified of this person. Or just just gray noise. (laughs) No, there's a lot... Probably that. (laughs) Probably that, actually. Uh, Maybe I'll go squirrels. Squirrels? Like a flying squirrel? What do you think it thinks when it jumps? Woo! (laughs) (laughs) Yahoo! Yeah, Yoshi. I just feel like for New Jersey, there's not many crazy animals here. I might just might as well go squirrel because you see them. I could probably see one if I walked outside right now. So you now. could just have a conversation with any squirrel on the street. Yeah, and I feel like squirrels are very common uh, all around the okay, world. Okay. Where if I travel, I can have my my name will be known in the squirrel community. What about like an elephant? You know, the like elephant? elephants. Well, what if you saw them. all these animals in one day? Let me change it up monkey. for you. A monkey. Monkey. You want to an elephant? Shark. Shark. Yeah. I'd befriend them. Kill, 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 yeah. kill, kill. And then I would be basically Poseidon. <laughs> I would. I Talk would, to the animal. I would, I would own the ocean. I would like live on an island and tell all the sharks to patrol it and not let anyone in. And I would have my own island. Dangerous. I would attack the boats. Not dolphins? What no, do you think sharks. about dolphins? I sharks? Think sharks could take them down. Dolphins are probably so nice. Sharks are probably mean. Well, You've... I'm going to try to befriend them. <laughs> I think they're just misunderstood. I don't think they're, they're mean. Misunderstood. They're misunderstood. Oh, man. But here we go. AI is taking over the world. You have $15 to survive. There's four levels. Level one is your weapon. $5 is an Iron Man suit. Okay. $4 is super strength. $3 is an RPG. $2 is a sniper. $1 is a shovel. AI is taking over the world. AI. Right? Yep. So what am I going to do to take down AI? We're talking like robots? Like We're robot AI? AI? Everything? You, yeah, so usually they're yeah, robots. I feel like I don't need that much. I feel like I need some programming expertise on, on top. So I want to spend my dollars later. You want to spend your dollars later? All right, like, give me an RPG. I feel like do it you does... know what the other ones were? Let me hear. Iron Man suit, super strength, RPG, sniper, shovel. Okay, I'll take super strength. For four? <laughs> yes, for four. Super strength. Super strength for four. Yeah, you know what? Because I'm going to fend everything off. If, if the robots are coming or if it's AI that's like a computer, I'm going to destroy them with my strength. AI pretty much is robots. Yeah, but uh, some of them aren't. Level two, pick your teammate. $5 is Harry Potter. $4 is Elon Musk. $3 is Poe from Kung Fu Panda. $2 is Conor McGregor. And $1 is me. You? You could take me for one. I could take you for one. For one dollar. That's a, that's a value. That's <laughs> value right there. That's what I'm saying. It's a value um, pick. I'm not taking. It. I know you. Are. <laughs> one dollar. What if I was um, free? You know who I'm not taking? Who? Elon Musk. Really? I don't need him. I know who you're gonna take. I'm taking Poe from Kung Fu Panda. I knew it. You knew it. I knew it. It's Skadoosh. What do I have now? I have super strength and I have Poe. Po. I'm good on the physically. Defense. Yeah. Physically, I'm good. Physically, you're fine. Yeah. We'll take on this world together. Level three. You're going with your item. Five dollars is the Back to the Future car. But you only have two going there and back. Oh, okay. So you can only go there and back once. $4 is unlimited clean water. $3 is a jet ski. $2 is a motorcycle. $1 is a pogo stick. $8 left? You got a lot of money left. You got two levels. Give me the back to the future car. Oh, two trips? I'm doing it. Two trips. You try to solve it. I'm going to try and solve it. You, you only have 30 minutes. They're going to come out with only 30 minutes? An hour. I'll give you an hour. <laughs> an hour? <laughs> I'll give you an hour. I'm going to... You've seen Back to the Future. You only get an hour. I'm doing it. Well, right. technically, I could have two hours. No, it's their back. Well, maybe one my, trip, maybe my one back trip. is five minutes forward. No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah. give, me, give, give me the time. I'm, I'm fixing it. I got po. In an I hour? Do any, I could do anything. All right. Level four, pick your home base. $5 is a cruise ship. $4 is Dick's Sporting Goods. $3 is a New York City apartment. $2 is a treehouse. $1 is a tent. I feel like I have to take the New York City apartment. I got $3 left. You have $3 left. That's what I'm going to do. New York City apartment. A tent? You could have went treehouse and a tent. <laughs> I could have gotten both. Yeah, if you want. No, 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 no. New York City no, apartment. We're taking New York City apartment. It's small. Yeah, but put me put me higher up. With Poe, you might take put up a lot a little, of room. Put me a little higher up. <laughs> I got a nice overview. Penthouse. Not a penthouse. You're getting, but, you're getting fifth floor. Tenth floor. Fifth. Tenth. I make the rules you know here. How fifth tall floor. the buildings are? Fifth floor. Eighth. Fifth, seventh, sixth. Okay, fine. I'll take six. <laughs> That's okay. It's protective. I like it. One bed. One bed. <laughs> Poe doesn't get a bed. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got no other comment there. I got no other comment. Whatever. Oh, God. Okay. This one was a fun one I came up with. I'm excited for it. I was excited for it. Um, I forget where I heard it or who I heard it from. So if you're watching this and you came up with it, I'm sorry. Comment. 
What would you do if you woke up as the opposite gender for a day? Oh, like Freaky Friday. Like Freaky Friday, but Freaky Friday is the same gender. That's your mom and daughter. Oh, yeah. That's Switch. Now, you wake up as the opposite gender. Now, again, I don't like leaving you out in the dark on these. I prepared some that I said what I would do. But well, I, I want could just go for it. I want you to go for it first, and I will confirm if I thought of the same things. Have a baby. You're going <laughs> to no. <laughs> have a baby in a day. No. Oh, uh, I'm not doing that. That sounds horrible, yeah. physically painful. That's well, like the same as getting kicked in the nuts. Maybe. <laughs> it might be. Um, what would I do if I was a girl for a day? I got a full list of things and all are PG rated. I think I'd go <laughs> at night. I think I'd go to the club and just get free drinks. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Free drinks. That's very I'd good. get like free bottle service. You know what happens though? Is that you get to go to the club and then like you could have the girly drinks like without oh, feeling yeah, weird about Shirley it. Shirley Temple's all night. No, but you're now you're saying now or then? When I'm a girl. When you're a girl, yes. But I still do that now. I know, you still do it. (laughs) Pina coladas, Aperol spritz, apple martinis. Give me me everything. I'd go backstage behind the DJ booth for free. Oh, put on the headphones? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. That was my uh, DJ mix. Thank you. That's what I would do at night. Yeah. I was going to say I'd go to Starbucks and hang out, but I don't (laughs) like coffee. What a lame. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. What what would I do? Uh, There are a few tough ones. Reenact the... uh, Reenact... Baywatch scene. <laughs> Slow motion. Yeah, no. I don't know. What did you have on there? I, I put, um, go on Instagram and comment, you're so pretty on all girls' IGs. I wouldn't do that. Just, you're so pretty. Because that's what girls do. <laughs> the girls support each other. They're all playing on the same team. Us guys, sometimes we're on the opposite team. Really? I feel the complete opposite. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, uh, Manny Petty? Would, you, would nah. you go enjoy? Because you can't go now. You can. People do. I, I know don't. people who do. I don't. I don't either. That is where I draw the line for myself. My grandpa does. I <laughs> Not. <laughs> it's like a pedicure <laughs> or like whatever it is. Sometimes those toes. Um, what else bad. could you do as a girl? You could gossip. <laughs> These are so lame, Zach. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to do? You said you came up with a whole list of good I things. I have a whole list. I got four more things on here. You could go shopping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just say what girls do. You could proudly watch a rom-com. Because uh, I'm not proudly watching any rom com nowadays. What do you mean? What What's your favorite? Do you rom-com? have like insecurities? Or I don't something? have insecurities. I just don't do 51st it. 53rd States, one of my favorite movies. That's Fantastic more of a comedy. Mo- than it a is a rom com, 100. percent Yeah, I mean that's different than like watching like <laughs> She's Got Mail and and uh, what's the other one? So you know all of these, but what's, you're <laughs> what's the other one? There's another one with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Also, I can't remember it. Nope. I have no idea. Um, you could. Lose things in your purse, then magically find them. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just going to go to the club and get drunk for free. That's <laughs> right. probably what I'm going to do. All right. That's fair. That's fair. And like hang out with some cool DJs and stuff. And just do, I don't do know all what the things else, that you could do. What other perks I would have? You got nothing? Probably do the same thing I'm doing now. <laughs> Realistic. Just live your life? Yeah, probably. Maybe you go get a haircut. That was weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Someone right. DM'd us. That's what it was. That's, I was like, let, I me, like let me know. I like the topic. Um, we take right. ideas via DMs. Yeah, we do. So DM us. And um, soon to be on Discord. We're going to do that on Discord. 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 Yes. For those who don't know, we're going to have a Discord channel. And we're going to have merch very soon. We're going to have merch. We might get on Patreon. It's a lot of stuff moving, a lot of moving parts. But Discord would be that place where people go and submit ideas. Okay. Um, it should be built out by the day after this podcast, maybe. And then we'll see you after that. Okay. So join cool. the community. Look it up. All right. I have a game. Do you say yay or nay to these debatable topics? Oh. People should be allowed to walk barefoot wherever they want. Wherever they want? Wherever they want. Nay? I want to say yay. You want to say yay? Barefoot right now. You could be barefoot in you your own house. Him? You want to go? No, you I want, don't. You want to... No free pictures. <laughs> no free footage. I just barked because you're free. I know. Um, not proud of that one. Um, um, not, no, no. You know how disgusting some people no, feet I are? I actually don't think anywhere they want, but like... Like inside in your house? If you want to be barefoot, you should have to ask permission. In a beach town, you should be able to go barefoot into into a shop. That's completely fair because you could go, oh, yeah. Like, uh, in a restaurant? I don't know, in a restaurant, maybe not. But like in New York, please wear shoes on the subway. Oh, yeah. That's disgusting. Oh, man. The That's more of a problem for them. Subway's already got some unique flavors and taste to it. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't need know. an additional one. What? Licking? I didn't lick a subway. You would, though. But I would, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I know you would. Oh, I would, all right. <laughs> 
Yes, I would. <laughs> so weird. All right. Uh, people shouldn't have to go to work on their birthdays. That completely yay. I agree. It should be treated as a holiday. I agree. And if I were president, I would. That would be the first law I, I put down in office. So when you're filling that out would your be ballots, the first law. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Executive geez. order. When you're filling out your ballots, write me in. Off on birthday. And I'll take off any day on off. your birthday. And you know what? You get sent candy too. That's and a you, little creepy. That's a little creepy. That's a little weird. Your favorite candy. Still creepy. Still creepy. <laughs> uh, all right. Leftover pizza is better eaten cold rather than reheating it. Now, this one's a debate. Now we're talking. I have my answer. I want to say yay because I always just take it and eat it out of the fridge, and I think it's it's pretty good. It's you delicious. Don't think it's better, do you? But I don't think it's better. I say nay. I, I'm going to say nay. It can't be. It, it's it's more it, convenient. Is it better than the microwaved pizza? I'd rather not microwave it. So you'd rather, rather eat cold? I would rather eat it cold. So if you had to start bench cut, you start reheating in the oven stove yeah. or whatever yeah. then cold then microwave yeah have to right. you know what there are a lot of foods that probably follow that principle yeah i just like i don't mind the cold slice you need the crisp i actually kind of like how people react when i eat a cold slice They're like you're gonna eat that cold i'm like hell yeah i am i'm for it some people don't really don't like it never been against it in it's my part of life. like a it's like a community of people who eat cold pizza yeah. you know it's, it's a like thing. People that sleep with their socks on. Oh, yeah. But the opposite. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. <laughs> We're all here. I'm just saying things. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm playing a transition in my head, but I can't. Um, what do you call pizza? Pizza. Okay. I want you to guess the name of these things. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so there was a list online that somebody sent to us. I'm big on the fan interaction. I love when people send us okay. ideas. They sent us a link and had... Six things, seven things um, that I want to run by you, and I want to see if you could guess the name of them. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Can you guess the name of these things? The foam of a beer. That's the foam at the top after a the pour. That's not of, so great. I, I honestly thought it was called the foam. No, not the, the foam. The meniscus. It's not the meniscus. The meniscus is in your knee. The meniscus is the bubble. Oh, is it on the top of the liquid? Oh, it is. I thought your meniscus Scientific was part thing. of your knee. I think it's both. Both. Yeah. The f- the craft. No. What do you call it when you say like, oh, that's the blank, foamy blank of a beer? The tip? The no. top? No. The foam? The head? Yes, that's what you call it, but that's not what we call it. Um, the foam of a beer is called barm. It's the barm. B-A-R-M. B-A-R-M. The barm. That's a, that's a bad name. Well, that's, foam's not really great, is it? I like foam better. You're crazy. You pour the foam all the way out so that it doesn't. That was a bad pour. That's not what <laughs> yeah, I do normally. Okay, yeah. That was a terrible pour. I thought pour. you were crazy for no, a minute. No, no, I did not mean to do that. What about the tiny table in the middle of a pizza pie? Oh, I don't know the name of it, but <laughs> I know it's there. It's the little dining room the, the table. Chair? The chair? It's table? not the chair. You're the table. kind of close. The dining table? <laughs> no. I, I imagine little little pizza. The legs. It's not the legs. The, the holder. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> the um what's this what do we got here the square yeah but what what's another what's Rectangle. a three-dimensional square the cube no it's uh i open up a box okay and then tea box no box triangle 1800s box house <laughs> box bow it's the box tent the box tent <laughs> maybe earlier than the 1800s the but box that is tent. close the stupid box tent name. is in the middle of the pizza stupid name what do you call the day after tomorrow the day, the day after, after tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, I knew you Usually. were going to say that, but that's not what you call it. The day after next? Not the day after next, no. The next day after No, just tomorrow. think about it. So like if, I, if I'm if i going through the week and then I go like this to the next. The, ne- the hump day. No. The jump day. The leap day. Jump. Jump uh, hop so What day. do you jump? You jump. Fences. Yes. And what are you doing when you go? Dive day. <laughs> the overmorrow. It's called the overmorrow. Right. I mean, I've never heard Let's of it either. I've there, never. Yeah, we got to calm down yeah, over here. Calm down, Google. We got a few more with what you. What are we doing? The dot over an I or a J? Uh, just a dot, no? no. <laughs> the col- the nipple. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's your thumbnail. There's my thumbnail uh, right here. <laughs> the, the boob? The <laughs> nipple? The, <laughs> no. The breast. What's another word for nipple? I, I didn't. Nips and nipples? No. Nip starts with a T. Titties. <laughs> it's called. Is that not right? <laughs> Titties. Is that not it? No, it's not it. It's called the tittle. It's a tittle. That's not so what you call nipples. It's a tittle. It's a little tit. <laughs> That's what you call the dot over I didn't know that. Never knew it. Never knew it. Never will. What do you call feeling sick after eating or drinking too much? 
Uh, You're never going to guess this one. No. Stomach virus. No. Food coma. Food uh, hungover. Uh, I don't know. Food poisoning. Food poisoning. No. What's it called? What do you do when you feel bad? Throw up. You feel like. Vomit. No. Barf. You feel like. What do I do? You feel like poop, which what's another word? (laughs) Yeah. What's another word? I feel like. Shite. (laughs) No. (laughs) Crapulence. (laughs) <laughs> so you, I feel like it's like the act one. of feeling like crap. I'm okay with that one. It's like turbulence, but crap. <laughs> yes. What do you call the condition of finding it tough to get out of bed in the morning? Sleepy. Not sleepy. Sleepy time. That, what, that you would think it is. Um, the, you're in a coffin. You're sleeping. No. Mm. Tired bo- body. No. Tired body. It's like a... Nauseous. Like, a, like not phobia, but like it ends in... E-I. Arachnophobia. No, not arach... That's a fear of... Spiders. Spiders. It's called dysania. 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 Very weird. Very yeah, weird. I got one more just in case you want to substitute. Your tiny toe or finger? Pinky toe. Not pinky toe. Min, uh, min, metacarpals. Min, no, no, no. Min, 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 mini mouse. Mini min, finger. Min, min, mini man. Min, you're close with mini mouse. Mini mouse. Mini mouse. Mini mouse. Mini mouse. What? Mini mouse. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Mini mouse. Doesn't make any sense to me. Mini but those were. I thought those were interesting because those are everyday things they that you have. And uh, you just have to get the name of them. They're very interesting. All right. I have a game for the end, but I want to do this debatable question. We've talked about this in the past, but I wanted to re-bring it up because we talked about it like a year and a half ago, probably. If there was a four-day work week, what extra day would you take off? Okay, so we did talk about this in the past. Yes. It was a while ago. And I said Wednesday, and you said why. I didn't say why. I don't don't hate any answers for this. I don't hate any. (laughs) But besides like Tuesday... Yeah, Tuesday would be Get wild. Tuesday out of here. No. Tuesday's a bad answer. No, I would go two, one, two, two. Two, one, two. Two days off, two, one, two. Two days off, two days on, one day off, two days no, on. No, no, no. Monday, two Tuesday days, on. Monday, Tuesday on, Wednesday off, off Thursday, Friday on, Saturday, Saturday Sunday, Sunday off. I think it just makes sense for, for the work week. I mean, I know. What I, else would a you lot do? of the votes online said Friday, which is like yeah, the easy answer. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it definitely does make sense. <laughs> definitely makes sense. I guess it does. Because Thursday also is a bad answer. So you got to you got to tell Monday or, or Friday. It's Monday, Friday, or Wednesday. And then a three-day week. Because then Thursday becomes your Friday. So it's really like you're working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then like a half. But you know what? Friday. You know what? Why don't but, we work Saturday, Sunday, and put Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off? That's just weird. That's not weird. No, because then everything... If you're basing this off of your tea time, I want to hang out with people. No, jeez. Relax. I'm calm. I'm calm down. Um, yeah, I know. I probably do Wednesday too. Wednesday's just the one that makes sense. Or Monday. So you, so you want to work Fridays? You know why? Because you I feel work like Fridays. I barely work Fridays. Yeah. And if you work Fridays, you come out of it. You go to happy hour after. Yeah. Everybody's then, there all open for happy hour. And then Monday can be a true recovery day because Sunday could be like a Sunday day where you Imagine have activities. Imagine football season. Football season, you're golden. That's what I'm saying. You're doing very well there. It's either Monday or Wednesday okay. or Friday. I like it. I'll take any of them, though. Are you ready for it? It's ready. T- the time is here. Brian's going to get rid of more U.S. states. We are going to be halfway through the list to ultimately determine our number one. Your number one, not mine. I would have gotten rid of a few states that you didn't. Well, I'm sure they'll be gone. Well, they'll probably be gone. If you had to get rid of five more U.S. states, which would you choose? I'm going to run through the list. You better go fast because okay. there's a lot. Yes, there is a lot. We could just say pop them up on screen. Oh, okay. Unless you want. I kind of want to read through it. We read could pop it. A- hey, we're just going to pop them up on the screen. There's okay. too many. But I'm also going to read them. <laughs> Arkansas, North Dakota, Iowa, Kansas, Indiana, West Virginia, South Dakota, Ohio, Nebraska, Minnesota, Alaska, Mississippi, Oklahoma, Wisconsin, New Mexico, Idaho, Missouri, Alabama, Kentucky, Montana. Ooh. Those are the 20. Those are the 20. Proud of you for that. That's the last time I'm doing that. (sighs) Connecticut's gone. Connecticut's gone. Connecticut's gone. You're taking Connecticut out. It's a highway. It's not a highway. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Zach, don't get me started. The pizza. Ever (laughs) before your girlfriend got placed there, you said it was just a highway. I never said it was a highway. I, we, I'm sure we could find it somewhere. Saying it's a highway? <laughs> yeah, it's a highway. I've never said that it's before It's a highway between Boston and New York. I've never said that before in my life. Maybe I said I went to it while driving there oh, okay. or drove past it or through right, it. I've never right. called it a highway well, specifically. Well, it pretty much is a highway. Well, I never experienced it. I never had the pizza. And you're just going to get rid of it. All those people. All There's those people. There's not many people in Connecticut. All those people. <laughs> yeah, Connecticut's gone. It's really not that great. 
Name something in Connecticut besides the pizza. My girlfriend. <laughs> besides your girlfriend. <laughs> Do what you want. Connecticut's it's got a nice called. little town. There's so many states with nice little towns, Zach. Oh, wait, then. Should I have gotten rid of Delaware? Would that have made you feel better? I would, yeah, I would have felt Delaware's better. Gone. Delaware's gone. Delaware's <laughs> gone. Delaware's out. Get it out of here. Gone. I kind of feel bad for Delaware. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so tiny. It's just there. Yeah, it's just, but it's, that's a highway. All right. Now I think I got to go into those states in the West, but they're, be- they're beautiful. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Yep. Three, two, one. Washington. Wyoming. Oh, Wyoming. Washington. Seattle's there. Seattle's an awesome I, city. You think I care about the people in Seattle? I've never been there. I li- I'm just saying this stuff to be the hot takes. <laughs> I'm just, this is not how I actually feel. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wyoming's gone. Wyoming's gone. It's out. I feel like I should get rid of Michigan. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, Michigan's gone. Michigan's this gone. This is where it gets tough. Illinois Michigan's is simply gone. staying because of Chicago. Let me put yeah? that out there. Okay. Simply staying because of Chicago. That's fair. You're, you're city. a city guy. Oh, man. Now it's getting... Tougher and tougher. Yeah. Just catch Titch Washington. No, I, Seattle's awesome. Never been. They got a needle. New Hampshire. New Hampshire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just irrelevant. Ham, New Hampshire. So, so let me ask you something. What? You got rid of Connecticut before New Hampshire. Why? There was no specific order. No specific order? No. You got rid of... Whisk, whisk, you got, <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of New Hampshire after... Connecticut because New Hampshire at least has good skiing and snowboarding. I go, you got wit of Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. I'm really doing the quitty. You we we got wit of Wisconsin. Yeah, so that's it. Connecticut, Michigan, Wyoming, New Hampshire, and Delaware. Delaware. See you later. Gone. See you later. Those are the next five. <sighs> Should we knock out ten next time? No. Just you can't do that. Get them out. Get them out of here. Wow. Comment if your state's still alive. <laughs> um I want to yeah. ask you one more question relative to geography. So can, let me let me stick with it, and then we'll transition to the last one. Okay, um, this one's a dicey one, very dicey. I'm good with the international audience. The people love me. Um, they love me. I mean, <laughs> no, they don't love me at all. Uh, okay, but you're gonna make some enemies here. Am I? If you had to get rid of five continents, five? which are you choosing? There's only seven. Yeah, but one of them's a toss. It's out. Antarctica. Antarctica's out. <laughs> Easy. So yeah, you're yeah, basically clearly. keeping two. You're basically keeping. What was I gonna do? Three? Antarctica, Africa. What? What's wrong with Africa? <laughs> I don't know. You decide. Get rid of five. You already decided for me. Apparently, <laughs> get rid of five. I Jeez. thought it'd be more dicey if you did five. You hate Antarctica or you hate Africa? Jeez. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get them out. You want me to? No. Do what you want. Only five. Only two can stay. Two are staying. I have to keep North America. That's where we live. So one can stay. You wouldn't want to live in Europe? You wouldn't want to do it? I live in North America, I'm (laughs) saying. I'm saying I don't... I live in... I live there. I have to stay. But the the fruit and vegetables, they're better out in Europe. You wouldn't move? Why are you so set on that, Zach? (laughs) (laughs) I'm just so I'm just saying things. Let me say them. What do you mean weird, though? Like, it is. It really is. I sound like someone who like studied abroad. Yeah, you went <laughs> to like, Spain for like no, two I, no. Weeks. I lived in Spain for two weeks. Oh my god, buddy. Um, um, that's a good question too. <laughs> what? How, how long do you have to be in a place to consider oh, it being yeah. lived in? That is good. A month. <laughs> um, All right. So so Antarctica's gone. Yeah, Antarctica's gone. There's no one there. Get it out. I don't know. Um, the polar bears. I feel like I have to get rid of Australia, even though that's like my favorite place in the world. Wow. It's just. It's the smallest. Yeah, but why are you getting rid of your favorite place in the world? These are the ones that you want to keep. You're not getting rid of... All right, you want me to go fast? (laughs) South America, Africa, Asia, Australia, gone. It's Europe and North America. (laughs) Okay, you're keeping those two. (laughs) Really? Getting rid of Asia? I'm getting rid of all of them. There's a lot of people in Asia. I feel like we have huge fan bases in Europe. Even though India, they love us there. They do. Yeah. Shout out India. Can we keep India? (laughs) (laughs) Fine. All right. Fine. We'll keep, <laughs> India, keep India, Europe, and North America. Okay. What about my family in Colombia? You don't care about them? Can we keep Colombia? No. All right. We can't. No. They're gone? They're gone. Interesting. Yeah, I have a lot of family. No, I don't have any family in Europe. They're just <laughs> from <laughs> Europe. <laughs> They're, you have just, a lot of roots in Europe, I guess. Not really. I'm just American. You're just Ameri- you're as American. You're American. You're as American as it comes. Cool. I have nice. one more topic for one you. One more topic, and then we're going to jump into the cakes section of the podcast. Yes. Cake cakes. Um, 
Create the ultimate fast food restaurant with five different foods. Oh. So you can only choose each restaurant one time. Okay. You can't choose duplicates. Mm-hmm. French fries. I, I don't even know what you ask. I'm going to give you five foods. Yeah. Each food, you pick a fast food restaurant. Okay. You can't duplicate Reuse. fast food restaurants. Okay, restaurant. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm aligned. French fries. French fries, five guys. Five, five guys. guys fries, yes. And I would pick? say, when, when do you get so much hate? I, there's lovers and haters in the, fry, in the fry department. There's lovers and haters. People love it there. There's lovers and haters. People say McDonald's is better. It's not. But if it's I go not, quality of better. fry, I'm going five guys. Of course better. I am. The Cajun fries too, a little sneaky. Mm, all right. What about burgers? Can't choose five guys. Oh, I, I hurt myself. I Should did. I want Wendy's. I'm not going in and out. No. No. I'm going to take Wendy's. I'll take Wendy's burgers. Really? Yes. I thought you were going to go Shake Shack. Shake Shack is too small of portions for me. The Baconator, it gets it right. So you're going Wendy's for burgers. I need the Baconator. That's my go-to fast food burger. Would you have swapped them? Yes, I would have. If you could have. I would have. But you can't. But I can't. can't It's too late. Chicken sandwich. Ooh, a chicken sandwich. That's what I said, brother. Do I want Popeyes or do I want Chick-fil-A? Your choice. Up in the air. Popeyes or Chick-fil-A? It's all you. This is Zach's fast food restaurant. I'm going to go quality. I'm going Chick-fil-A. Yeah. I thought you were going to say Popeyes. No, 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 no. Chick-fil-A. It's healthier for you. It's it's Is not it that much healthier though. Probably not. But I, if I had to take one to eat more consistently, it's Chick-fil-A. I haven't had one. Popeyes, it's just like when heavy. you have too many of those, it's heavy. You, you don't feel good. They sit. Yeah, but like I anchors. Might get Chick-fil-A right now. Yeah, I was That's thinking about it. This always happens. Pizza. Sabaros. I'm kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> oh, you joking with you. Had me going there. Uh CC's. Haha. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Um, fast food pizza though. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. So like Papa John's? Yuck. <laughs> Just pick the pizza. I'll pick Domino's. I'm taking that's Domino's. Yep. Pick. Domino. Last two one. Two medium, two topping pizzas. It's my deal. Desserts. Dairy Queen. No, can't pick Dairy Queen. Why? Can't pick it. Why? It's an ice cream shop. It's not a fast no, food restaurant. Just, a, oh. Kind of is though. Some lists would disagree with you. I disagree with myself. Um, can I go Cosmix? <laughs> sure. Yeah? Sure. Can I do it? Sure. Are they open yet? Don't know. No. Sure. Sonic. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, where would you go? Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen? Then let me have All it. Right, go Dairy Queen. <laughs> All right. Dairy Queen. All right. I feel like that's easy. All oh, right. the, there's so many calories. Reese's. It's okay. That's yeah. it. Now we're moving on to the cake sports in the podcast. It's a game time. We're going to play a lot more games similar to some that we paid. Played. Paid. Played. Um, thanks, Cakes, for coming on. Yeah. First in guest podcast. In in guest podcast i can't speak first in person guest first in person guest on for our podcast. podcast yes um cakes thanks for coming through you hit everybody me up. go follow him and uh he said you know what why don't we film some in-person content and we let him in the studio we might be playing them two on two in basketball something's gotta happen something's brewing. Something's, something's gotta brewing happen I feel like it'll be a good match, but i feel like i don't think i think we could take cakes would, pretty easily we would dominate yeah we would dominate we dominate anyone Besides LeBron and D-Wade, probably. Should we play Jalen Brunson and Josh? No. <laughs> All right. On to the next part of the podcast. Look at this. Look at this spot, dude. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> this is weird. We did it, It boys. is a little weird. I don't like being next to you like this. This is like someone so used <laughs> to being across from you. you. I really don't like it. Too close? Too close. Now you can like, see all my answers and stuff, too? I'm not going to look. I know you're not going to look. look. All right. You want some good? We don't cheat on this channel. Good? I'm good, bro. All right. Do you want me good to do brother. Good brother? Okay. We are excited in this podcast to have a guest today, Cakes Mitchell from The Freddy Show. He's just, <laughs> he's just, how's it feel being on that weird. side? Do you like it? I don't know. It's weird. I, so I've, on The Freddy Show, like we switched sides a couple times, depending on like where our studio was. Yeah. Okay. This is my OG spot. Okay. Feels good. You're used to looking left? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, I feel I look way right. out of place. Yeah, I look right. We did one video where we switched sides. We started the podcast. Yeah. No one noticed. No one noticed. No one well, noticed. some people noticed. Some people did. Some people I noticed. thought it was going to be like a big thing. I like, thought it was going to be a big thing too. Because nope. I, cause when we switched studios, I would like switch sides. And I was like, people aren't going to like this. Like they're not used yeah. to seeing this side of my face. And then it's like, no one cares. They didn't care. <laughs> That's like, my, no one cares. <laughs> this side of my face could be completely shaved and no one would know. Cause Should I'm always turn this. Yeah. Just <laughs> shave and then at the end of the podcast. <laughs> <reveal> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I like that. 
All right, I want to uh, give the stage to you real quick. Just brief introduction, um, where you came from today. You, you took a drive here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little ways. And, and give, us the, give us the background of it, Cakes and the Freddy Show. Okay, a little background. My name is Cakes. Uh, how did I get that nickname? A long story. Uh, childhood nickname. I got it when I was 12. Kind of just stuck. I ate a cake at a festival. So because everyone thinks I got a big butt. Was it a funnel cake? Or they don't know. It, <laughs> it was like a sheet cake. Sheet cake. I got it when I was twelve. What's it's a like sheet a cake? Few, I don't know what a sheet What's a sheet cake? cake? Okay, so I, I put a quarter cake. on a number. It's called, it was a cake wheel. You put a quarter on a number. You spin the wheel. <laughs> if it lands on your number, you win a cake. Where were you? A carnival? <laughs> <What's> <laughs> okay. a, what is this, this is a birthday party. What, what are we talking? I grew about? up in a very redneck area. <laughs> okay. They okay. have this place, this thing called Tillman Day. It's every October. Tillman is a, a small island in Maryland. Okay. And they have their own day, and it's just like they do boat docking competitions, wow. crab picking competitions. Cake wheels. Cake wheels. Sheet you know, the cake, whole night. Just, it's just everyone getting drunk on the island. Okay. And just, you know. I don't hate it. You know, and, that, and that's it. So I was 12, just roaming the island <laughs> with my yeah. friends. All right. <laughs> Won a cake, ate it. There's a bunch of like, you know, drunk high schoolers are driving up in the truck. They're like, hey, look, it's cakes. There you go. We're kind of stuck. Here we are. I didn't know that about you. So we've yeah. collaborated before. Uh, you were on our podcast yep. and we did a few videos virtually. together. Yes, virtually. 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 So first, first guest in the first studio in person. In person. Ever. Let's get around the wall. <laughs> for myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You clap for yourself. <laughs> Who do you like? Uh, which which side do you like better, by the way? Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, we want to be honest. judgment. And it can't be based off of the gold plaque and the yeah. silver plaque. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Just, yeah. But let it influence I mean, you a little bit. I mean, come on. Let it influence you. No, I'm, I think we went to the Ninja Turtle. Oh, damn it. That's what we like to hear. I've been saying that's I need to like redo to my side. You just, need, you need to swap this out, I think. Oh, that's, that's my buddy's music thing. Then, then leave you. it. I'm sorry, buddy. Then leave it. <laughs> <laughs> then leave it. Tiago's going to be... He's not going to be happy. You need the though. new that's one. Okay. He just came out with a new one. You need, he did. You need the he updated did. version. He's, he's, he's coming up. He's, he's trying. Just he's just got to redo Now I feel bad. He makes good stuff, but uh, yeah. got to get him more listeners. Yeah. So here's your promotion, Tiago. There you go. Tiago, I drew that myself, too. Brian no doesn't way. have any artwork on his side. Relax. Mr. Okay. Clean? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually me in 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're trending what? towards. That's her dad yeah. right now. Yes, it is. A uh, great Halloween costume that year. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you a question. So we posted something on Instagram recently, and we're doing, uh, is it cheating or not? Is okay. it considered cheating or not? Oh, okay. my, oh, wait. First of all, Zach had one of the most wild takes ever. He got roasted yesterday okay. we posted okay. this video. Absolutely lit up in the comments. Okay, it's nervous. really bad. I might so, pull up some of the comments. <laughs> it's it's really bad. So I, I asked Brian, I said, uh, like, is it cheating if you sleep in the bed with the opposite gender? Like, so your significant other does that. Yeah. So I'll ask you more formally in a second. But basically, <laughs> the Instagram comments were saying, they're like, oh, Zach's, you know. Oh, my the, God, they're horrible. Yeah, they're bad. I, have, I can't even say some of them. We're a family-friendly program. Um, but I'm people were saying, I was like, my girlfriend went on a trip with her friends and like slept in a bed with one of her friends. Mm -hmm. I don't care. And people right. are calling me. They're like, oh, Zach's like into that stuff. And Zach like wants to look at <laughs> it. It's yeah. like really crazy yeah. stuff. It was yeah. Zach 22. Toasted. Yeah, Zach, Zach 22. Because Adam 22 is whole thing. Mm. Um, it's his whole thing. It's his whole thing. <laughs> He's got, no, we, we can't say anything. <laughs> so I want to ask you. Yeah. Are, th are these things considered cheating? Okay. Sleeping in a bed with the opposite gender. Cheating? I don't know. I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't I'll, do it. I'll That's sleep what on I a said. sidewalk. That's what I I'm said. Sure. You're That's a married what... man. I'm a married man. <laughs> you I'm should not, have the same you know? morals, though. I, so, like, is it different by, like, age or, or situation? Like, if you're dating, maybe it's okay. No. Engaged, no. Married, no. I'm not touching it. That's <laughs> what I, I love my wife. I'll, I'll, I'll sleep on the sidewalk, dog. Like, I'm Exactly not. what I said. I said there's always there's another no place to sleep. You, no it's called the floor. It's called the floor. I just, just sleep on the floor. I just want to defend myself. My girlfriend, it was one trip. I think you should just drop it, to be just honest. Drop because it? defending yourself means that you're okay with it. Like, more than okay with it. It was one trip. It was in the host house. Himself. There was eight other friends there that she's known for years. That's There's nothing happening. There's nothing happening there. There's nothing happening. Back. And I, I think she's okay it. with me if I if I had a friend that I was friends with for years. Like, if it's a stranger or someone that, like, you're just... No, it's a little weird. Just... Hear me out on this one. No, I say dating okay, engaged no, <laughs> married. No. I think I think all of the above. No, yeah, okay. <laughs> so not cheating. No, it is cheating. I don't know. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm just, saying cheating. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just cheating. classify it as cheating. <laughs> we'll take it. Whatever. Let the comments roast me again. I need it. 
Um, I'm surprised you brought that up again. She's going to get re-roasted. I had to. I don't care. Roast me. Go for it. Um, A celebrity hall pass. Oh, it's cheating. Like, it is cheating. So your your, your significant other tells you, okay, like, sure, you got a celebrity hall pass. One person. You have a situation with that person. Yeah. I mean, it's cute. The idea of it's cute. If you do it, though, that's cheating. Yeah. (laughs) Like, yeah. If it actually happens, like, you can talk about, oh, this is my hall pass. My wife's is Jake Gyllenhaal. Beautiful man. Beautiful stud of a man. I get some comments that say I look like Jake. <laughs> I don't believe it at all. I don't all. see it at all. I don't see it at all. I don't don't it worry. At all. Don't worry. Could you t- you've seen Roadhouse, I'm sure, right? I haven't yet. No. Oh, oh dude, you, were, you, were, like him. you were phenomenal in it. <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was great. Um, I was going to say the same thing. I was saying the idea is like a fun, playful thing. It's a podcast topic. You could talk about it with your significant other. But if it actually comes to fruition, it's 100% cheating. So it's a test. It's more of a test. No, I think it's just an idea. Because I, I think people <laughs> in their in their mind idea. make celebrities out to be this like bigger than life thing, this idea yeah. of a thing rather than a person. But if, if my wife sleeps with Jake Gyllenhaal, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. well, I would say the same. <laughs> I'll give you that. We'll give you that one. All right, saying you would hook up with someone if you were single. So you're 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 out and about. Someone comes up to you and be like, be like, yeah, yeah, I would if if I were single. But unfortunately, I love my wife. Is it cheating? No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'd yeah. like to say but, we wouldn't do most of these things. Right? <laughs> but yeah. is it cheating or not? You're saying not cheating. I guess the idea, I, I don't know actually, because like the idea of like talking about doing it, like are you physically doing anything? No. Are you no. emotionally cheating? I think this whole thing boils down to is is emotional cheating cheating? Yeah. That's, I uh, that's yeah. I mean, I think wrong. if you, and then, go, yeah, maybe. I don't know. If you go out of the way and like say it, be like, hey, like, you, hey, you. If I, if I uh, was single, I would hook up with you. I don't yeah. think rather than like getting asked <laughs> the question, be like, if you were single, would you hook up with me? And you say yes or no. I feel like it's different. You see what I'm saying? That's I just guess. a little crazy to say. It is crazy. I feel like if I feel like girlfriend and boyfriend, wife and husbands are okay with saying that someone's attractive. Okay. Like yeah, together, I I've talked to my significant other and been like, wow, that girl's really attractive. She's like, wow, that guy's really handsome. And Zendaya, I'm like, yeah, I you. agree. Right, Zendaya. We were in Sweden. Everyone on the street was attractive. <laughs> Most attractive country in the world, I think. We just <laughs> said it comfortably. I wouldn't, but I wouldn't go up to the person and be like, hey, really want to hook up with you, but I can't right now. <laughs> like, no, that's can't. completely fair. Okay. So not cheating? Cheating. Cheating. Okay, we labeled all three. We're playing on the safe <laughs> side here. We're playing on the safe side. <laughs> we have to. We have to. All right. Run the next one. All right. We so we got it. another game. Make sure I can't see this over here. Yeah. Can see you see this? Did you see yeah, this? I'm devious, dude. <laughs> so we're doing this is a little game time within the okay. podcast. All right. We used to post time. the full game times. We would film like an hour long game time and post it to YouTube. They actually did really it well. They did really well. I was looking at it the other day. But now we didn't maybe, post it. We maybe we'll post bring them back. Maybe. Uncut. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. But we have chain link. I love chain. So we we thought of this through you, yeah. Because okay. you 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 influenced us. Well, but you also are always the one giving it to Nick. Yeah. So we wanted to flip it and put I you. I love in, it. You know, put you in the driver's you know, seat. I I prep the Freddy show. <laughs> <laughs> Nick doesn't. Okay. <laughs> put him on the spot. <laughs> put him on the spot. <laughs> and and all the times that I'm playing the game, I have to let it'll be him like prepping it on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Giving it back to me. So I appreciate it. This is gonna be this is gonna be We fun. just got one for you. One for you. I want to see right. how you perform because okay. we haven't okay. seen it. I like before. this. I like this. Here we go. All right. First one, I don't understand. First word is garlic. Bread. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you want a letter? <laughs> Do I want a letter? Do you want a letter? No. Give me a letter. I don't need a letter. <laughs> you don't need a letter? <laughs> garlic. I need a letter. P. Yeah, I need more letters than that. Garlic. Garlic. Plant. No. No. Not Dude, a bad where guess, does though. garlic grow? Plants. Plants. Probably. Yeah. I, I'm, so, I'm a real dumb they don't. Is it, is it underground? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> PR. Garlic. I feel like you. Garlic. <laughs> <laughs> you got to throw up. Garlic p- p- praise. Oh, no. Not you love garlic. No, I love garlic. You love garlic. <laughs> P-R-E. Garlic press. There you go. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is either. I think it squeezes out the the juices. Uh, uh, Garlic garlic juice. Yeah. That like came to me. That was like a garlic juice. (laughs) Garlic. We got a little easier from here down. That was the toughest one. I mean, this one still doesn't even. No, that's not bad. Come on. Press B. Press a button. Press. (laughs) It's two words, bro. (laughs) Two words, bro. Two words. Press. Okay. B O. Press. 
box. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, I didn't understand like a that one Like a press box. Like a game. Like a game. I was thinking either. about like a survey. Yeah. Box L. Box level. No. Mm, see, you stayed with the game. Not there. That's good. You're in not the stadium. There. You're not, in the stadium. Not, get out of the stadium. Gotta get out of the stadium. Take you out of the stadium. L U. Box lunch. Yes. We got next one. We got three more levels here. I'm sweating. Yeah. Lunch T. Lunch time. Wow. Nice. Very can good. S- can you sweep the rest? I think it's there's a good chance. With the first I want one. you because I, I know your signature as you tee it up. Can we get a tee up in the studio? I'll, if you feel I'll good. I'll tee it up. Okay. I'll tee it up. Time M. I'm not teeing up this one, right? The next one? You can there's if you more. want. There's two more. Time M? Yeah. Time management. Oh. oh. Good thing I, I didn't tee it up. It. Holy <laughs> wow, dude. That would have been depressing. M A. Not Does manager. Time maker. No. Mm. Time M A C. Time gonna, machine. There yes. it is. Save. Wow. Dude. Good save. Good save there. If we got to the H, we would have been in trouble. Where would you travel in your time machine? What what era? What era would I travel in time machine? Probably, probably like. Would you go future or past? I feel like you gotta go future. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Past would be. I know. But past. what if you go into the future and it's like a nuclear fallout? Well, then I know. Then I know. <laughs> then you know. Then <laughs> then you can I can. I can change the course of events in the current. I Wait, can it. I come back or I have to stay there? You can come back. You can come back. We'll yeah. let you come back. <laughs> future. <laughs> future. <laughs> All right, machine W. Oh. Is he doing it? Tee it up! <laughs> I'm excited I've been for this. I've, I've never experienced one of these. I missed this. <laughs> machine my- W. Machine W. Wow. Tee it up! <laughs> machine. Machine. Washer? <laughs> no. Ah, but uh, you were close. You were though. close. You were, you were close. close though. He had a foul ball. I think you're the first person ball. ever. Yeah, you got three strikes on this. You're the first person to ever stand in the studio, by Thank the way. Thank you. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, the same stood. level. I was going to say, you know, gonna say, maybe you didn't get taller, but. W A. <laughs> Machine. You were very close yeah, very the first close. time. Machine. Machine, uh, machine. What did you say the first time? Machine machine washer. Okay. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. In the first few uh, letters are. Machine washable. Yes. Machine washable. Wow. Yeah, like a t shirt, right? Yeah. This is machine, machine washable. Wa- okay. Everything's machine. I washed a hat. That was earlier. so tough. <laughs> I like so it. Tough. Very I tough. can hear Big my blood back. beating. Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> tough life there. Tough life there. So we're going to do 200 points here. Sometimes okay. you do like 300 points. I think that's insane. That's that's, that's nuts. Yeah, I don't know how. And maybe do you generate your own fast monies? Yeah, we come up with the Freddy Club. Okay, cool. Because we pull them from Family Feud, like, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the game. And I was like, I just don't understand how you get to three hundred points. But now I get it. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Name something most women can't take criticism about. Their looks. Okay. Mm, you, give me give me a specific or. Can't take criticism about. Uh, their opinions. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's stay in the looks. Okay, stay in okay. the looks. Their makeup. <laughs> their makeup. <laughs> oh, We're gonna no, give you one more. Can you give them one more chance. Their lipstick. <laughs> okay. No, all right. Maybe we'll figure something out. All right. Name a cable TV channel that starts with a C. Comedy Central. Name an activity that men do shirtless. Sunbathe. Name a food that can make a broken heart feel better. Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what we wanted over yeah, there. All right. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. back a little bit. All right. Should I give you the answers now? Yes. I need to know how yeah, many yeah. points you scored. Let's look. Okay. Name something men like to look at. You said girls. It's the number four answer. Woman is eight points. So okay. Not, not too much there. But okay. Name something most women just can't take criticism about. You said looks. And then you said lipstick. And then you said some other stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's hard to categorize. You can give me the number one. They'll give you the number one. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I'm going to give you the buzz on that one. Zero. Uh-huh. That's a little tough. It's a little tough. I'm sorry. Name a cable TV channel that starts with a C. You said yeah. Comedy Central. W- Pretty popular. Yeah. Uh, but not on this okay, list. Yeah, no. You had five, six points. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at a whopping 14 points so far. It's a little tough. Name an activity that men do shirtless. What did you say? <laughs> Sunbathe? Sunbathe. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give you mow the lawn. <laughs> that's like, hey, that's, that's I'm going to give it to you. That's how every man sunbathes, you mow the lawn. <laughs> We're going to be number four answer, 11 points. 
So you're at a whopping 25 so far. Okay. Name a food that can make a broken heart feel better. You said chocolate. Please. Surprising and say cake. Yeah, why didn't that's, I? That <laughs> would have made sense. Chocolate is 51 points. So it <laughs> saved you a little bit. It oh, saved, you're at 76 total. How do you feel? Not great, but better. <laughs> not great, but better. The last one really took you back. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have Brian come down here. Holy dude. How do you think he's going to react? He's going to try to pick me up. He's going to try to make me feel better about only getting 76. I want you to be sitting for this. <laughs> sure it wasn't good. as bad. It wasn't as bad. Do you want to tell him? No. No? Okay, I'll <laughs> tell him. 76 points. And we need 200. I'm going to tell you. It's it, not impossible. It looked- hey, hey, hey. On the bright side, there's some. There's a lot of number one answers out there, dude. A lot of opportunities. <laughs> a lot, pretty much all of them. I feel good. It looked really bad up until the last answer. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you know how many? You know how many I had? How many? Twenty five. Yeah. <laughs> so, See, that would have been that. Would, we would have been in trouble. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we I are, feel good. We are in trouble. That's we, my no we are. In I trouble. feel real good. I feel real good. Okay. You ready? Born ready. This is round two. Let's do it. Name something men like to look at. Women. Need another answer. That's what you said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was that the 25 points there? Uh, they like to look at cars. <laughs> nice. nice. Very nice. Name something most women just can't take criticism about. Uh, uh, how they look. Okay, that's what he said, but I need more specific. T- can't take criticism for? Yeah. About. About their hair. Okay. All right. Good Name answer. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Name a cable TV channel that starts with a C. Think CNN? Name an activity that men do shirtless. Are you feeling good right now? <laughs> Shirt, what did you say? Men. Name an activity that men do shirtless. Swim. Name a food that can make a broken heart feel better. Chocolate. That was Cakes' answer. You need another one. A food that will make a broken heart feel... Pizza. Pizza. Oh. Amen, brother. <laughs> that makes me feel real good. Pizza makes a lot of women feel great. It makes me feel good. Oh, it says broken heart. What am I saying? Woman. It's all people. Yeah. Okay. Jeez, Here we go. The worst. Name, name something men like to look at. You said cars. Mm-hmm. Number, Number two answer. answer Twenty six points. We're, right, at we're, at, we're at one hundred two. Number one answer was sports. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Name something most like women to look. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Name Didn't something most women just can't take criticism about. You said hair. That's what I said. Number two answer, 22 points. Come on. We Come on, baby. We need a lot up. here. The number one answer was weight. I messed up. Was what? Weight. Their oh. weight. Which one you said looks? I, I said like, lipstick, I? so. <laughs> 76 plus. Wait. Look at the math on this kid. <laughs> we need to do some damage here. Name a cable TV, name a cable TV channel that starts with a C. You said CNN. Yeah, it is. That's what it is. Fine. That was the number one answer. Yes. 34 points. Wow. It's not enough. We're creeping we up. More. 158. Only, how many more left do we have? You have two more. Name an activity that men do shirtless. What did you say? Swimming. You said swimming. Swimming's the number one answer. Oh, that's big. 26 points. Wow, that's it? <laughs> this is rigged. That's 184 points. The, the pizza response didn't give me much confidence here. We yeah. need a ringer here. You need a ringer. Yeah, name a food that can make a broken heart feel better. You said pizza. Should you be need number one. 16 points. I didn't get it. Not <laughs> <laughs> I tried giving you a hint by saying that's what Cakes said. Cakes. Come on. Would have been 21 on. points. It would have given so it. less often consumed. Ice cream? Pizza. I said pizza wasn't <laughs> there. You had ice cream and chicken soup was number four. I feel what like was that was pizza? a while. Pizza there? wasn't on there. That's it wasn't on the list. Hey, all. listen, that's a, don't get mad at me. It's the people. Blasphemy. All right, we didn't get it. Is that okay? Yeah, why wouldn't it be okay? <laughs> that's it. That's great. All right. I mean, I think that's all we got for the podcast portion, right? <laughs> yes. Cool. Um, podcast. Unless you want to put the tier list in it, but we could just keep the, no, we'll keep keep the, the tier list separate. separate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... that's. Uh, are we signing off right now? We're signing off. Are we off? going back to so. the podcast? Back. Uh, we're are we putting it in the middle? The, no, we'll put it at the end. At the end? Yeah, a little special treat. Right. Fine. A little dessert. Cake. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you got for us in terms of uh, plugs? Oh, no. It's just, coming up. You know, wherever I'm at, there I am. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> and we'll throw his socials on there. That's the one liner of the century. That yeah, was that was fantastic. Good. <laughs> that was very good. No need to throw it forever. I love that. All right. Well, that wraps up podcast 78. Cakes, thanks for coming to the studio. Hey, First thanks for having me, guest. boys. Oh, my God. That was fun. First live guest. First live guest in the studio. Maybe there'll be more. Maybe there won't be. 
Maybe they won't be. Maybe it'll be us, but you have to deal with us for the rest of the time. All right, Podcast 78, that's a wrap.